In this interview, we shall highlight Dr. Erica L. Johnson. Interview, and I'm very grateful to um, been a, have been asked to do this. I'm excited. I love the placenta and the, the um, mainstay of my work, and I love viruses. Please tell us more about your current position and your academic affiliation. Well, I'm Erica Johnson, and I'm an immunologist and research faculty at Morehouse School of Medicine in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Microbiology, Biochemistry, and Immunology, and I also serve as the director of our newly formed Vaccine Trials Unit Laboratory here at Morehouse School of Medicine. What is your research focus? Well, my research focuses on understanding correlates of protection during pregnancy, defining mechanisms of natural immune control, and determining how these can be exploited to determine to develop interventions that can limit mother-to-child transmission of pathogens. My laboratory is particularly interested in placental and fetal immunology as it relates to HIV and HCMV infection. My current um, research or laboratory goals are to define the dynamics of innate immune signaling and macrophages at the maternal fetal interface and their control of HIV, HCMV, and also Zika infection during pregnancy. Um, we also want to determine the mechanisms by which maternal HCMV promotes in utero HIV transmission and to elicit, elucidate the impact of maternal infection and or inflammation on the developing fetal immune system. Uh, one of my main collaborators is Dr. Rana Chakraborty at the Mayo Clinic, and um, our labs often work together. And our studies have advanced the understanding of innate protection against mother-to-child transmission of HIV, um, along with understanding pediatric immune responses to maternal viral infection. What are some of the major findings you have published on? We've extensively characterized and published on HIV, HCMV, Zika infection, along with related viral sensing and antiviral signaling pathways in primary cells at the maternal fetal interface. And these cells include fetal or placental macrophages, also known as Hoff viral cells, um, trophoblast cells, along with cord blood mononuclear cells. Major findings from these studies, um, we've shown that placental macrophages, also known as Hoff viral cells, are important mediators of protection at the fetal maternal interface during HIV exposure. Um, that these cells sequester virus and it may also serve as a protect to develop a protective reservoir to permit neutralization and antiviral drug entry in utero. Um, we've demonstrated that restricted ability, avail availability of CD4 and CCR5 target cells in fetal cord blood may restrict establishment of viral infection um, in utero. Um, we've also shown that uh, maternal HCMV co-infection during pregnancy may actually facilitate HIV-1 acquisition in utero. And in this area, we've actually have an R1 through the um, NICHD of the National Institutes of Health to actually investigate how and the mechanisms of how maternal HCMV actually facilitates in utero transmission of HIV, and also how maternal HCMV can impact the developing fetal immune system during gestation. In addition, we were one of the first groups to demonstrate that the Zika virus actually infects and can replicate in primary human Hoffer cells. And it also initiates a robust type one interferon antiviral response, which let us, lets us know that the placenta isn't just a, um, an organ that stands by, and just allows for passive transfer of um, materials or viruses, but actually it's a robust immune organ that can um, protect the baby from a utero transmission. Um, all of these studies have really transformed concepts of the biological correlates of protection or transmission at the placenta during ongoing viral exposure. Um, further investigations into these mechanisms will provide groundbreaking information that will contribute to overall understanding of viral pathogenesis and the development of effective immunotherapies. May you please tell us how COVID-19 affects the placenta and in neutral transmission? Now, as we see daily, the cases of SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19 are steadily growing. And in the United States here, we have record numbers of um, record breaking numbers of new cases every day. Now, as these numbers increase, the number of pregnant women with COVID-19 are also increasing. And the impact of maternal SARS-CoV-2 infection on birth outcomes in a developing fetus remain unclear. 
Now, while there is limited evidence of mother to child transmission of SARS-CoV-2 um, from mother to baby during gestation, which is great, pregnant women with COVID-19 um, have actually increased fetal complications. And these include miscarriage, um, intrauterine growth restriction, preeclampsia, preterm birth, and complications postpartum. In addition, several studies have shown that their newborns actually have increases in detrimental pro-inflammatory cytokines, and they can produce virus-specific IgM and IgG. Therefore, although we are not seeing transmission of the virus from mother to baby, it's very important to understand how um, maternal systemic inflammation or local inflammation at the placenta in the SARS-CoV-2 infected pregnant woman could adversely affect the developing fetus even in the absence of vertical transmission. We actually in our labs um, here at Morehouse School of Medicine and at the Mayo Clinic are using our expertise in characterizing viral infections um, and immune responses to viruses during pregnancy to understand the impact of SARS-CoV-2 on the mother-infant dyad. How can someone get in contact with you or learn more about your research? Well, you can um, always look up my um, research on PubMed, we've published on a variety of these viruses, HIV, HCMV, Zika virus. We've looked um, very detailed at the different viral immune responses. And um, like I said, if you look up Erica L. Johnson, um, I recently moved to Morehouse School of Medicine from Emory University in the Department of Pediatric Infectious Diseases. And um, you can also look on the Morehouse School of Medicine website to find more information about my laboratory. And you can also look there to find um, ways to contact me. My email is erijohnson at msm.edu. Thank you so much for the opportunity. It's always great when you can talk about two things you love, viruses and placenta. And I um, really hope that this research um, can touch someone and, I look forward to making the discoveries in the future that can improve the outcomes of children that are exposed to different viruses during gestation. And um, if you would like to talk with me further, feel free to reach out. Thank you.